Hi guys, my name's Sean. None of you really know me except Grimsmo, but I want to get back to the community. I know several of you out there are looking for cheap, affordable RO systems or water sources for your machines like this. So a quick introduction about myself. Uh, 28 years in the military as a AH-64D pilot. And I retired not very long ago and love machining. In fact, a lot of you guys inspired me to start machining, open a job shop, what have you. Uh, special thanks out to the guys I've been following for up to like 12 years, I think. Grimsmo, Saunders, Booth, Fenner, Lipton. I'm sure I'm missing some people. ABE, I don't know your name. Love your show too. And the goat rocks. I bought the shirt. Uh, but anyway, RO system, I'll show you where I bought it, how much it cost, and my first lab report, and how fast it produces stuff and where you can get it. It's cheap, affordable, and hopefully this works for some of you guys. So here it is off of Amazon, $89.99 or whatever it says up there. Uh, had great reviews for guys with uh, fish tanks. I suppose their litmus test would be dead fish, so I figured I'd give it a try. So one has to ask, where are you going to put all this awesome water? Well, here you go. Right off of Amazon. Delivered to your front door. As Saunders would say, fail cheap, fail fast. This thing really didn't work too well for me. Um, it's kind of hard to roll across the concrete. I got not exactly the smoothest concrete, but um, just tough to roll. You have to kind of pull it. It's top heavy. Uh, so I switched to this. Um, this is a dolly off of Amazon. What I consider kind of fairly cheap, probably couldn't buy the material to weld it yourself. Uh, and this thing rolls just fine. Roll it right up to the machine, tuck it in a corner, put it in a closet. Uh, and I've been rolling it with a completely full 55 gallon drum. Okay, so not exactly in tradition with Saunders fail cheap, fail fast, but um, I've gone through several pumps. This one is the best one so far. Uh, I'll show you a quick little video clip of it working. It's really quiet. I've tried other hand crank pumps with gallons per minute. They're hard. They flex in the can or in the drum. I've done Harbor Freight, plug into the wall, noisy. It doesn't really work. Hard to prime. Um, this thing works. A little expensive, but it works. So from Amazon, 90 bucks. Reverse osmosis water filtration system. And I just kind of stuck it to my bathroom wall here in my shop. The, uh, for those of you who don't know, reverse osmosis is, I'm making this number up, but like 20 by 80%. It dumps 80% overboard with all the contaminants, gives you 20% of clean water. Um, that's that black pipe. And I just basically stuck a little, I drilled a hole in here, stuck it through. And um, because I don't want a 50 gallon drum in my bathroom, I just drilled a hole through the wall. And uh, we'll go over there and take a look. So the RO takes uh, water from your tap. I got it hooked up, obviously, to my little spigot here. This is a little cubby hole right next to my machine that uh, I wheel a 50-gallon drum into. And here's the hoses coming out of the wall. It ain't pretty, but, um, oh my gosh, I could just spackle right over them and repaint it. But uh, this is the one that I just stick in the tank. We'll go take a look at the tank. All right, 55-gallon drum. I got a little water pail up here. This thing is really neat. Um... Grimsmo, I know you're kind of looking for a solution, but uh, oh my gosh, it wheels around the shop really easy. It's 55 gallons of RO water and uh, this little pump, and it is quiet. Super quiet. All right, we're going to watch it fill just for a sec. I'm trying to do this one hand, it's interesting. And it dumps quite a bit of water pretty quick. We are up to half a gallon, three quarters of a gallon, and now we're at one gallon. And that's all she wrote. The neat thing about this little pump doodad here is you can run it off a little 12 volt battery. I'm going to clip this out. Uh, instead of plugging it in to the wall, uh, it comes with alligator clips, and you just put a little, I imagine you put a little deep cell cycle battery, and you can run this right off of it. And here's a better look at the cart. All right, the data, which you've all been waiting for. Um, I'm not exactly a chemist. Don't really claim to be. But uh, on the left is tap water. On the right is the RO out of the um, 
little filter things you saw hanging in my bathroom. And uh, it does pretty good. In fact, a couple of them where they have the less than signs are considered by the lab unmeasurable. Uh, so they just stuck a number in there, I guess. At least that's what they told me. Um, what specifically you're looking at is I ran the RO system, dumped about a quart of water overboard, and then filled a quart and sent it to a lab. Uh, and that's the results you're seeing. I'm going to test this again, probably at the 100 gallon mark. I'll let you guys know. Here's the price breakdown for you guys. Uh, Y'all can read. Um, the most expensive part out of it's the pump. Um, the pump so far is pretty badass. I really like it. And uh, anyway, here you go. Hope it helps somebody. Um, hope it saves some people some money. You don't need that professional RO system out there. Uh, as best I can tell. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll uh, relab test it at 100 gallons. So I reached out to the manufacturer of the RO unit itself. Um, I asked him how long does it last and it took a little prime but he said approximately 2,500 gallons till you need to replace the filters and the quote-unquote membrane is good for I don't know how long. It cleans itself or something. The end result is is for 90 bucks if I can get a thousand gallons out of it uh, I'll just throw it in the trash and buy a new one and snap it back onto my bathroom wall. Uh, works great, lasts a long time. And for those of you who are interested, I hope I helped. Let me know in the comments section. And for the rest of you boys that go out there and do these awesome videos and teach people like me and actually gave me a, another career after retirement, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm drinking with a fire hose from the learning curve here, but uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this, to be perfectly honest with you. On a side note, for you guys that do per, kind of professional uh, video stuff and teaching me and all the videos like Grimsville Saunders, uh, all of the guys I mentioned, Lipton, Navy, E, Fenner, um, it's a little harder than it looks, man. I, I hear my little mouse clicks in the background while I'm trying to piece this together, but to be perfectly honest with you, don't give a shit. Enjoy. Later. I almost forgot. Uh, two and a half gallons an hour is what this thing produces. So I hooked it up to my 50 gallon drum. Uh, it would have been noon, came back in at nine in the morning, kind of watched it and I had 55 gallons by like, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning the next day. Hope that helps, later.